The facial artery arises in the carotid triangle from the external carotid artery, passes obliquely up beneath the posterior belly of digastric and stylohyoid muscles, over which it arches to enter a groove on the posterior surface of the submandibular gland. It then curves upward over the body of the mandible at the anteroinferior angle of the masseter, then passes forward and upward across the cheek to the angle of the mouth, then ascends along the side of the nose and ends at the medial commissure of the eye under the name of the angular artery. The anteroinferior angle of the masseter muscle marks the boundary between the two parts of the facial artery, the cervical part and the facial part. Each of these two parts of facial artery gives four branches. From the cervical part of facial artery arises the following branches. The ascending palatine artery. The tonsillar branch for the palatine tonsil. Glandular branches for the submandibular gland. And the submental artery, which is the largest of the cervical branches of the facial artery and runs forward just below the body of mandible and beneath the anterior belly of digastric. From the facial part of facial artery arises the following four branches. The inferior labial artery. The superior labial artery. The lateral nasal branch. And of course the already indicated angular artery, which is the terminal branch of facial artery. Close to the medial angle of the eye, the angular artery anastomoses with the dorsal nasal artery, which is the terminal branch of the ophthalmic artery.